Hi, this is Mustafa Alulusi working with Graham Johnson in Art Olson's Molecular Graphics Lab at the Scripps Research Institute. We'll post a more detailed movie in a couple of weeks, but assuming you're already familiar with molecular animation, this quick start guide should get you up and running with a very simple time-saving plugin we developed called PDB to Surface. To get started, visit gramj.com. and navigate to the plugins and tutorials page. Register and download the plugin called PDB to Surface. Unzip the download and drag it into C4D's plugin folder. Load the plugin by restarting Cinema 4D. Once C4D is open, run PDB to Surface by selecting it from the plugins menu. The first time you run the plugin, you'll see a registration pop up. You can choose to either register your plugin or run it as a demo. The demo will expire after three uses or 30 minutes after the first use. We'll register by copying and pasting the key code from the email we received. In the plugin window that pops up, select a PDB file that you have downloaded from rcsb.org and use the default settings. This generates a polygon object where every atom or het atom entry in the PDB file corresponds to a point in the polygon object, creating a point cloud. This point cloud is made the child of a metaball object. You can dial down the editor subdivision. Adjust the hull value and modify the radius on the metaball tag to get different effects. Nick Woolridge has posted a table of values you can use to achieve surfaces that will coarsely mimic proper surfaces generated by a molecular viewer. Visit his webpage for more info. Again, we'll post more details in a few weeks, but hopefully this will help you import PDB files directly into C4D with just a few mouse clicks. Thanks for watching.